Hi everyone, I'm Jill. And I'm Jerry. And we are here to talk to you about a cabin review on our sailing for the Norwegian Dawn. It was an obstructed ocean view on deck eight. Mm -hmm. And we do a mix of all types of rooms. Uh, we do sometimes ocean view, sometimes interior, sometimes balcony. And uh, we thought we'd give this one a try and uh, show you what the room was like. Right. Um, so it's a small cabin compared to, say, your average balcony. The majority of cruises we've been on, we've uh, done balconies. And so we're kind of used to that space, but we have started to do some interior rooms and... and uh, different ones. So we decided to give this one a try because we knew we were going to be on this ship with friends and that we probably likely wouldn't be spending a whole lot of time in our cabin. And just uh, before we get into the details of the room, the location of the room is fantastic. You're steps away from uh, the Oceans pub. You're also steps the other way towards the staircase that goes down to the next deck, which is a, a deck that runs all the way around the ship. So even though you don't have a balcony, I could walk out in about 20 seconds, be outside walking around the ship, looking at whatever I wanted to see. So I kind of had that entire deck to go down and look around the ship as if it was my own balcony. Right. And most mornings you did. I would wake up in the morning and he would be gone out of the room already going out for a morning walk on the deck, uh, which was just the deck below us. So when you walk into an obstructed ocean view cabin on the Norwegian Dawn, what is the first thing you see? Your bed. Yeah. For sure. Because you're looking straight ahead. <laughs> well. Now. To the side are your closets, and on the other side is the bathroom. So we have quite a bit of closet space. We had nice hanging space. We had another closet that included the shelves um, for your t-shirts and whatever, like that kind of stuff. And it also had a safe in there. Yeah. So and you had enough space for everything? Oh, yeah. yeah. Lots of space. Literally. Lots of storage space. Some of the newer ships have smaller space. The Dawn definitely has that older style that has tons of space. Yeah. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And what about the bathroom? The bathroom was very spacious in my opinion. So when you walk into the bathroom, you're going to see the sink right in front of you with the mirror and there's some storage um, around there below. Um, and then you have your shower to the right and the left, both partitioned off with glass doors. So a nice size shower. Yep. Didn't you find? Yeah, no shower curtain that sticks to you. A really right. nice shower for, for most cruise ships, yeah. Exactly. The shower door slid nice. It wasn't sticking or hard to, to do and uh, get it closed. And then the toilet had its own little, like, shower door, for lack of a better description. It was oh, the yeah. exact same glass. Almost like a little water closet on the side. Yeah, yeah. you could close it off um, and have that as a separate area. So, yeah, I thought the bathroom was very spacious, especially for an interior room. But in saying that, it's the bathroom's the same size on the obstruction in, in room as it is on the balcony room, because we did have a balcony the first time we went on there, and it, it the bathroom was the same. Yeah, and yeah, there's no there's no couch or is is there a chair even in the room? Mm -hmm. I don't remember if there was a chair sitting over by the one corner, maybe not. So it's mm -hmm. just the bed and the two end tables. And then there's the vanity there's area. There's a makeup area yeah. for sure. And it does come with a hair dryer, so you don't have to pack your own hair dryer, ladies. Did, how many plugs did it have? Just one plug or do you remember how many plugs? I want to say for sure one, but I'm not sure if there was a second one. Right. So we always travel uh, with a power, power bar, bar yeah. Yeah. Um, because between camera equipment, uh, laptops, and, you know, I always have a curling iron and a straightener. Um, so we're always taking turns charging something. So we always bring a power bar just to be on the safe side. Yeah. And a, a nice big TV mm -hmm. and channels. Do you remember what it was like? We don't watch a lot of TV in the room on a cruise ship. It's one thing we don't do. Uh, there have been times we've been on a cruise ship where we haven't turned it on at all, except for maybe he'll turn it on, um, just to see where we're at navigationally, so that sort of thing, yeah. looking at the captain's, yeah. uh, information yeah, yeah yeah we don't watch a lot of tv so i'm not sure how many channels there even would have been but it seemed average when i clicked around it was your, your typical yeah. run of channels for a cruise ship right and i do remember our friends that we traveled with had told us they had watched a, a movie or two in their in their room one night when we went out dancing and they weren't with us so they must do movies yeah. on it 
and the obstructed view so we looked out a window it was a full size you know picture window but there was a lifeboat right in front of us right. and you could see right in right into the you could see kind of past the lifeboat and see a little bit of the ocean once in a while and that sometimes there's sometimes like people working on the lifeboats outside the window even yeah they so had to keep the curtains closed I had sometimes. to close the curtains one day when yeah. i came in from the pool deck because there were men working right there so i had to close the curtains when yeah. i went to get changed and you kind of overlook yeah. the the deck that walks that goes all the way around the the ship so you look down you see people walking around and and uh, there's a deck right below you. But, yeah. uh, now, our friends also had an obstructed ocean view, and instead of them having the large picture window, they had two smaller oh, windows yeah. on either side of their bed. So they were they were smaller, um, but two of them. And That's I, true, yeah. I yeah. forgot about that, yeah. So it depends on which room you get, what kind of configuration you get for the windows. Yeah, yeah. and like maybe I think one of their windows, they had pretty much a clear view out of it because the lifeboat was near the other one. So depending on the position of that cabin and the lifeboats, you might get a, a better obstructed view. Yeah. What was your favorite part about the room? Uh, the bathroom. The yeah. bathroom, for sure. Very spacious. Um, I appreciate not having the shower curtain. Um, I appreciate it, the, even just having the, the toilet separated there. I thought that was a nice little feature. My favorite part was the obstructed view. <laughs> <laughs> you even look through the obstructed view. I like them. I like mechanical things, and you know, that's, the ocean's beautiful to see. And I sit on deck and look at the ocean all day long. But to see all the different gears and pulleys and motors and men working on stuff, it's kind of, you know, <laughs> kind of feeds my, my, my man thing that wants to fix and work on things. So, mm. yeah. So, 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 so for some people, it's not a bad view at all. It's something interesting to look at, and yeah. it gave you enough light coming in that you knew when it was daytime yeah. versus nighttime outside which is some things that sometimes it's a challenge to have an interior room to know what time of day it is so you never had that problem yeah. Yeah. yeah no you knew when you woke up in the morning that it was daylight and not the middle of the night yeah, yeah. and so anything about the room you didn't like the only complaint i would have because we've been on uh rooms like this and other cruise lines where there's just been a little bit more walking space um we've also been in obstructed views where we've even had a sofa uh and so they've been a much larger room so my biggest complaint if i had a complaint about the room would be that there was very little floor space to walk around and maneuver like i said earlier you had to lift your leg over the corner of the bed to get past that and the counter there um so yeah, a, a little bit more square footage would have been. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, the, the only downside was the size of the room, but it was it was compensated by the fact that you just gave you the opportunity to get out in the boat and do more because there you know you didn't you didn't want to sit in your room all the time anyways. There's lots to do on the ship. Right. Yeah. yeah so. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us in our view of the obstructed ocean view for the Norwegian Dawn. And if you have any questions, definitely uh, ask down below or make a comment and we'll see what we can do to help you out. And if you haven't already, then subscribe and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you around uh, the cruise world. Bye for now. Bye.